Hey, Pinters! Hi there! And welcome to the Pondside Chat inside because it's rainy and cold out. Yeah, it was really pouring this morning. Yeah, so we said, nope, we're going to be inside, which is good because then you know you can come inside to go to the pint when mm -hmm. it's raining out. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. Don't forget that you should be subscribing to our channel. You're going to do that by hitting the little button that's right down below there that says subscribe. And then next to it, there's going to be a little bell. And you want to hit that too so you get notifications about when our videos come out. And then also, down in the description are links to our Facebook, our Instagram, and our Twitter. And you can find out all about what's going on at the Pint at our social media pages. Perfect. And don't forget to subscribe to our weekly newsletter. <laughs> so you can be in the know. There's so much to know. All right, well, let's get to it. What are you drinking today? I am drinking Cream and Sugar Please, which is mm. a coffee porter from Cycle Brewing. <laughs> said, said with such slow I was determination. trying to remember all the words. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't research enough before. Sometimes you just have to dive in. Oh, that's good. It's a fan favorite. We've had it before and it always sells really quickly. We just tapped it. I don't think we've sold too much, so you have a, you have you a have shot a of second. getting some. Yep, yep. Oh, it's really good. Very coffee-ish this time. It's very good. Oh, cool. I'll have to give it a try. What are you drinking? Okay, I know y'all like to see me double fist it, so I did. <laughs> um, first off, we just put this on. This is from Sagatok Brewing, and that's out of Michigan. And it is a Neapolitan stout. We're both gonna try it. We just put it on. This is on nitro. Oh my gosh, that's good. It's really good. Um, we, we had a half barrel of it last year, but it wasn't on nitro. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know they made it on nitro and this popped up and it's really good. I think it's still, I think it's gonna get even better because I still mm -hmm. get a little bit of the old recipe. One. Yeah. Um, Wow, come in and get this. It's We've delicious. We've only got a small keg of it, so uh -huh. yeah, that's not gonna last very long. It's delicious. And then this one, I wanted to remind you, first of all, see see this itty bitty little glass? This is a four ounce pour. This is what usually is in a flight. This is the Kentucky bourbon barrel, maple barrel porter? Stout. Stout, maple barrel stout. And it is really, a big beer. I think it's 12%. 12% alcohol. 12% alcohol. Um, and the price point on, uh, on this does not allow us to put in a flight. However, what a lot of people have done is you get your flight and then you get a sidecar, a little four ouncer. Mm. It's very boozy, but it's, it's a very sipping good. beer. Yeah. <laughs> you may so, not want much more than yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the thing is that I want to remind you, you can get little pours of stuff so if you're wanting more than just a little sample you can get this size in anything mm -hmm. so you can just have a little taste of it and you know you can do that outside of the flight or you can get a flight so yeah it's a it's a fun way to do things yeah all right so um wings the wings flew away mm -hmm. <laughs> i hate to tell you sunny pinters but there will be no wings in the foreseeable future we're working on it, and uh, our oven uh, didn't work out. Didn't work out. Connie is going to be taking a trip back to her homeland, and we'll see what happens from there. That's all I'll say. Yes. <laughs> I think if you say any more, you'll just cry. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to know when to let go. Mm -hmm. um, but we had some wonderful music last week. Oh, yeah. Uh, Michelle Ingram. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, we had such a fantastic crowd. Yeah, yeah, she was great. Mm -hmm. and the crowd was great and she got lots of requests. Mm -hmm. It was fun. She is a fantastic performer. If you ever get a chance to come down to the Pint and see her, I highly recommend it. In fact, all of our performers are so good that it's worth it's worth coming down some time to check them out. Uh, I actually captured a little video. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet, but if it sounds good, I'll insert it right here. Okay, here's Michelle. Jesus Christ. 
What's Did coming you hear up? Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't, oh well. Um, okay, so what's on tap for this week? This week we're going to be open on Monday because we're going to be doing pints for pints. We're going to be doing a blood drive in our parking lot here. And if you participate in the blood drive, you get a coupon for $7 off a pint. And also some very fun swag from One Blood. And since you're probably going to see this after that happened, maybe we'll put a little information about how it went. Yes. <laughs> And I don't want you to forget that Jimmy Mack is, the enrollment is still open and it's a great time to join our club. The Jimmy Mack beer packs are coming out. It's, uh, it's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. So if you're already in the club, look for your beer pack. It's going to be coming up this week. It's actually available by the time you're reading this. Yes. Um, and then this week... And I'll week, put a little picture in to give you a hint of what's in ooh, it. Ooh, the suspense and drama. Yeah. Um, we also have this week, we've got some more musical entertainment. Mm -hmm. We've got Charity Cox coming on Thursday, and she's been here several times. She's fantastic. And uh, a few weeks ago, there was a nice big article in the paper yeah. about some of the places she's been playing around town. So you may have seen that as well. And if you did and wanted to see Charity Cox... She's going to be here Thursday, so don't miss out. She is so much fun. <laughs> really great performer, and mm -hmm. she really loves to engage with the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, then we don't also forget that we have sports. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about sports? I do. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's football playoff season. The Bills won their game yesterday. Woo, go Bills! <laughs> and um, it's the last couple days of the first the wild card weekend today and then we'll know who's playing next week and when but I'm hoping that the Bills game will be playing during the hours we're open so you guys can come in and watch the Bills here. So NFL if you're listening can you please not put us on the late night game? Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah it's pretty exciting some good games and mm -hmm. come in and watch the playoffs because we got game day nachos we've got dollar off pints all day long and also this way you're not going to have to clean your kitchen or clean up after your messy friends we'll yeah. do it for you we'll do it for you you know there's nothing i love doing more than dishes <laughs> uh and our gang does too i mean we got a terrific gang they do a lot of dishes um so don't forget in all those places i told you at the beginning to look at there's going to be lots of information about events that are coming up we have brewery events coming up our second anniversary is coming up mm -hmm. and if you came to our first anniversary you know it's a good time yeah <laughs> so uh check all of that out and look forward to a, a great couple weeks coming up mm -hmm. but let's talk about the beers that went on this week yeah yeah so uh laid up lager which is a I think they call it a pilsner, which lagers are pilsners. Laid up lager from Ravenous Pig. Delicious, crowd-pleasing beer. We have had it quite a few times. Mm -hmm. German-style pilsner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Charter Series 14 from 81 Bay. Uh, our, so I haven't, I tried it, but I didn't give it much more of a sam than a sample. But some of our uh, IPA-loving guests have said that this is one of their favorites. Oh, so, good. Yeah, yeah, come and check that out. Yeah, their Charter Series is always really good. Yeah. Unholy from Coppertail, the Belgian style Trapel. Big favorite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. And then Hialeah Light from Unbranded. And this is a nice, really light beer. It's got a little fruitiness to it. It's quite delicious. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, you should do this oh, one. Oh, I should do. Then there's the Kentucky Maple Barrel Stout from Lexington. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, and that worked out because next is Cycle Cream and Sugar, please. So <laughs> this is delicious too. <laughs> And then we have 72, a pale ale from First Magnitude. Mm-hmm. And Wild Night, the cream ale from Swamphead. Delicious. Real Slow, the Irish red ale from 81 Bay. Mm, that's so good. That's real popular. And Red Bug Red, an amber from Oviedo. Mm-hmm. Really good. I haven't tried this one yet, but mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to trying it today. The Mexico Peach Fuzz Hefeweizen from Oyster City mm -hmm. Brewing in Apalachicola. <laughs> And then, oh, this is your other favorite oh. word. <laughs> and then there's a Neapolitan milk stout. 
on Nitro from Sagatok Brewing. And, and where are they? Oh, they're in Michigan, from the Michiganders. So your two favorite <laughs> words in a row here. Oh my goodness, how could it, we have ended this on a more of a perfect note. <laughs> all right, well I think that's it. We gotta get ready for some football action this we afternoon. We do, we do. So, so all you Michiganders and people from Apalachicola, I hope you have a wonderful <laughs> rest of your day and cheers. cheers.